What's up guys? I'm Joey from AwesomeCameras.com. It is October 19th, 2018, and this is Today in Film number eight. I'm gonna start off in podcast land. There is a podcast specifically about film photography. It's called the Film Photography Podcast. If you don't know about it already, you're missing out. You should definitely be listening to that. They had their 200th episode uh, this week. That's a lot of episodes, guys. Uh, thanks for the shoes. We've been in definitely enjoying the shoes. If you haven't listened to those guys already, uh, they're great, great podcast. You got 200 back episodes you can go back and listen to. You better get on it. Another podcast worth noting, Analog Talk podcast. Chris and Tim, they're great. They had on Kyle McDougall, who is a photographer, but also a fellow YouTube creator on their podcast. Go check that out in the link below. All right, moving on to YouTube. Uh, first up, Nico's Photography Show. Two things I wanna mention. First of all, Nico, loving the mustache. He's been growing out a mustache. Not unlike my own, looking good. Welcome to the club. After that, he's been doing this series of interviews that he did at Photokina in Germany. The one that caught my eye in the last few days, uh, he interviewed Bellamy from Japan Camera Hunter. It's really cool, they talk about his new disposable camera, kind of, about his project to create a new compact camera. Not much to say there, he's kind of keeping it real low key, to be expected. We've got another great video from David Hancock uh, in his series of negative flaws. Um, it's kind of a series, it seems like, what could go wrong with film photography. This one is about what happens um, if your negatives are touching each other during development. So basically your negatives go on a reel and if the back of one of the negatives is touching the front of the other one, um, there's just a section that doesn't get chemicals on it and he explains why that might happen, what to look out for, and uh, just a rundown on that. If you're doing any home developing or thinking about getting started, definitely watch that video and uh, all his other videos, I guess. Watch them all. Our buddy Adrian over at AOWS, A-O-W-S, uh, he's going through Portugal and Austria and shooting some HP5 and FP4 Ilford films. Uh, another great video, again, beautifully filmed, definitely. Even if there wasn't photography in it, I'd wanna watch it. It's filmed really well and um, all around great video. Enjoyed that one. Next up, a channel called GGSG TV put out a video and it's a series they're calling a quickie roll, which uh, they just go out and shoot a roll of film. This one, uh, she shot a Fujika MPF 105. I'm not familiar with that camera. Uh, I'm guessing maybe they were more common in other parts of the world. Uh, I don't see a lot of Fujikas here in the States, um, here and there, but not too common. Anyway, she shot a, show, uh, she shot a roll of Kodak Color Plus 200, and it's just a good glimpse into seeing what it, what it looks like in another part of the world, and we get to see some uh, film photography. Win-win. And speaking of traveling the world, let's go back down to New Zealand. Another video from Paul C. Smith. Man, if you didn't check out the last video uh, I mentioned on this show of his, you're missing out. Uh, this one is a video on why we should keep film photography alive. Basically, he found a box of negatives at the dump while he was throwing trash away at the dump. Uh, he took it and started scanning them and actually found the owner of the film and reunited this film with all these family photos uh, with the actual photographer that shot them back in the, I don't even know, 60s or 70s? 70s, I think it was? All his videos I've seen so far are just amazingly shot, edited perfectly, and just a great all-around story. Um, great storyteller. Definitely check out his channel. Coming back into California, we got our boy, Travis Mortz. Uh, you know him, he loves film, he loves you, unless you shoot digital. Travis Mortz came out with a video about everything you need to get started developing film on your own. Um, just gives a rundown of what everything is, what equipment you need, and kind of just the bare minimum setup of what you need to develop film. So another, another video worth watching if you're thinking of getting into developing film or if you already do develop your own film and just want to see, you know, maybe there's a piece of gear you're missing or another idea of how to do something differently, go check out Travis's video. And now on to Instagram. I got another account I want to share with you. Uh, this is another smaller account. I found it on the hashtag FP100C while I was uh, researching the last episode. 
And what caught my eye on this account was a picture of a cactus. Uh, it's just a shot up at a cactus. It's shot on, I believe, a Mamiya RZ67. Um, and this account is called Zero Negatives. Um, zero underscore negatives. There's a link down below if you want to go check out this account. Anyways, uh, some great photos of just plants. There's this one that also was really great of a, a flower with a bee right on it. Very nice capture, but this account in general, it's a lot of um, plant photography, cactus, and things like that. On some FP100C as well as 4x5 it looks like. But definitely go give them a follow. They're putting out some good stuff. All right, and now for the question of the day. What was the last camera that you sold and why did you sell it? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.